Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jeannie and this is our Houston Smith home. We're a little bit off schedule this week. Um, things have just not quite been working in my favor. Weather wise, it has just been rainy and gloomy and dreary for days now. I've been wanting to get out all of my spring decor, but when it's so dark and gloomy like this inside, it's just not good lighting and the video doesn't look that great and so i've been waiting on some like really nicer days to do that but i'm just gonna have to do it one of these days anyway because i'm ready for my spring decor but today i am headed to do a pickup at walmart and i thought that we would just run in the thrift store see if we find anything i'll film a few things for you there as always stick around to the end if i do find anything i will be sure and do a haul i will definitely get a spring decorate with me video up next week the lighting may be just a little bit off so y'all may have to overlook that but still i just can't wait any longer i've got to get spring out we're into march we've just been getting so much rain now all summer long we were in a drought <laughs> And now we're getting all the rain, so go figure. But y'all let me know down in the comments, what has it been like where you are? I've been seeing some people on my Instagram talking about like 80 degree days already, sunshine, all of that stuff. And I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. So y'all let me know down in the comments. Let's go see what we can find at the thrift store. I thought this pillow was really cute. It had little dragonflies on it. I thought maybe it would be cute in a little girl's room. It had the scalloped edges. It does have a removable cover. I always like to look at the tags just to see if I recognize the brand. This one was $2.99. You could just take that cover off and wash it. It would be really cute. This is another one I thought would be pretty in a kid's room. It's the prettiest color purple, had the little ruffles on it and the tied edges, the corners there, but it did not have a removable cover. It did have a brand name here. I wasn't really familiar with that. They had it priced for $2.99 as well. So you just use your own judgment on that. I personally don't usually buy pillows if they don't have a removable cover. This one also did not have the removable cover, but I thought that would be so pretty if you had like a vanity stool or something round that you could put that in. This was a cute one for fall and it did have the zipper that it priced at $3.99. So you could just buy it just for the cover. You can tell that somebody just put it over an existing pillow that they had, but you could just buy it for the cover for that price. And then I came across these shams, which I thought were so pretty. It was like a really nice, almost like a terracotta kind of color and they were the Broy Hill brand. They were so soft. It just felt like really good quality. And so I thought they would be nice in my bedroom to add a little bit of color for spring. And you got two of them for $4.99. I always like to look at lamps at the thrift store and I've been seeing over on Instagram, Willowbrook Farmhouse, I think is the name of her channel. She always buys like these really pretty vintage lamps and she leaves them like this without a shade on them and she just puts like a pretty Edison bulb on there. And so that's just an idea that, and she'll stack them like she'll put two or three vintage lamps together and then just have the tops like that. And I don't know, I just think that's a really cool idea. This was a small little lamp, but they had it price for $5.99 and a lot of times you can find the shades separately at the thrift store. This big pleated shade was so pretty but it was very thick and I just don't feel like any light would actually get through it but I thought that was really pretty and you're actually seeing those come back in style as well. I've not really been seeing a lot of furniture pieces at the thrift store lately. I used to redo a lot of furniture. I still work on furniture some, but I haven't bought many pieces to work on lately, but just because I haven't seen that much, this was pretty. It was already sold. You could see it was kind of in pretty bad shape, but it does have a nice bones, um, the nice dovetail construction and all of that. And then they also had this really big chest of drawers, but that bottom drawer would not close properly. So you definitely would have to work on that drawer. I hate working on drawers and this wasn't constructed real well like it wasn't very old and dovetailed but it did have a maker's mark there. I'm not really familiar with that brand but it looked like it was also sold because the ticket was already gone. I love these ladder back chairs. Um, I feel like you could use them just like in a corner or you could even use them to sit a plant on 
on or just if you have a little space that needs taken up, you could use these. I always wonder how they price these things though because these are very similar. One's $6.99, one's $9.99. And then I came across this vintage chair too. I thought it was very pretty. It had that cane backing. Um, they had it priced pretty good, $9.99. You could always reupholster the seat if you didn't like that or you could clean it if you like the print okay. But it was on these casters. I just think that always just looks like really, I don't know, it just gives it a lot of character and the wood on this was really pretty. Don't forget to check out the vases at the thrift store. And remember, if you don't like the color of them, as long as you like the shape and the size, you can easily paint them. I thought these candle holders were really pretty. They had them priced for like $2.99 each, I believe. Um, this little bowl was cute. I always think about stuff like that to sit on my hutch because I have a, a cream colored hutch that I always style. These glass bowls were so pretty. They had like just flowers and stuff kind of etched into them. And I was just trying to think like, what could I do with those? I thought you could put candy in them. I could sit those on my hutch. And I actually carried this one around for quite a while and ended up putting it back. And I kind of wish I would have just went ahead and got it. I love to look at coffee mugs at the thrift store because I like to sit out seasonal mugs on my Keurig as decor. I love that white one with the pink inside. And then I found a whole set of these for Christmas. So also keep in mind to look for seasonal stuff that may not be in season right now. I thought these frames were really pretty. I kept trying to think of something that I could do with those. They were priced for $2.99 each. I just could not think of what I could do with it. So y'all give me some ideas on that. I love to look at the baskets at the thrift store. This was over in the vases. I thought that could be interesting to put some spring florals in, $4.99. And again, I carried that around for a while and I ended up putting it back. I thought this basket was pretty. I've seen a lot of scalloped things are in right now. And this had the scalloped edges, $2.99. And then this is another basket. These are just cute to sit around. You can put filler in them. I've been seeing these little carrots for Easter and I thought that would be cute. Now, somebody tell me what this one is. What am I looking at here? I feel like it should be really obvious, but it is just not jumping out at me. It looks like a gravy boat to me. <laughs> Somebody tell me what this is supposed to be. I love, love these pink plates. I only found two of them, but I thought that would be so pretty on the hutch for spring. And also if you have like open shelving in your kitchen or just a really white kitchen, I feel like adding some pops of color for spring is just so good. And then this bowl was so pretty, a vintage bowl. I'm not good at knowing like what all this stuff is and these brands and stuff. So somebody could tell me, but it was only priced at $1.99. But I just thought that was really pretty with that blue line going through the center. I always like to look for brass candlesticks at the thrift store. And lately, I haven't been seeing a lot of them. This was a really large size, and they had it marked for $3.99. It wasn't really the style that I like, so I passed on that. But I did come across this candle, too. I thought it was pretty cool. It had, like, the glass cover on it for $2.99. All right, y'all, I am back. This is going to be short and sweet because I really didn't pick up much today, but I do have just a couple of things I'm going to show you that I've picked up recently. You may have seen some of these in a haul, especially if you follow me on Instagram because sometimes I'll do little mini hauls over there, but I did go ahead and pick up these pillow shams. I just thought that color was really pretty just to add a little pop of color for spring. I'm kind of in the middle of a little bedroom refresh and so I have been getting a few new bedding items. I thought these were really nice. They're actually Broyhill brand. I thought that would be pretty and I just love the color and then the back of them is just kind of like a uh, taupe color. So I'm going to throw these in the wash. Both of those were $4.99 and totally not home related but the only other thing I picked up today was just these little slip slip on sandals. I thought they'd be good for this summer. I am the world's worst to just leave like a little pair of sandals at every door in the summertime to slip on on my way out because I never wear shoes. My husband gets so mad at me <laughs> because I just leave them laying around at like all the doors. So I thought these would be perfect for that. $4.99 and they just, I mean, they just look brand new. I don't really think they've ever been worn. So I thought they'd be good. Now this is one that I picked up recently and it's a really good example um, it's a very large pillow and it's a like down feather insert. You can tell that it's just a really nice insert. This is huge. This one does have the um, zipper so you can remove the cover. I'm not just super, you know, big on the print or, you know, the 
pillow cover. I think it would be cute though in my boys' room, so I may use it for that, but I can just take that off and wash it, or I can just use it for the pillow insert. So those inserts can be very expensive. So $4.99 just alone for the insert is a good deal on this. I think it is like a 22 by 22 maybe size, and so that's a good deal. And then you can order inexpensive cover covers for all the different seasons and holidays on Amazon. Now I picked up this little candle holder recently. I've already got a candle in there. Let me show y'all a little trick that I just learned. If you just take a little cotton round, like that you use on your face and stuff like that, um, this has, you know, on the inside, a little place for your candle. So just put your cotton round in there. And like on these, it's not gonna show. You can, you can see it, so you know, you would need to do that on one that's not gonna show. But look how pretty. But this is a darker wood color, almost like an orangey hue to, to it, and I didn't really like the color. So I just put a little bit of wood stripper on it and stripped it down to bare wood, and I love it. I just mixed it in with some of my brass candlesticks on my fireplace. I'll show y'all all that whenever we get to our spring decorating. And then these candles are gorgeous. They come from Hobby Lobby. You can get all different colors, and it's just kind of like that little twisted taper candle. So anyway, I thought I would share that real quick. I think I paid $2.99 maybe for this. And this last item I'm going to show with you didn't even come from the thrift store, but I just did a Walmart grocery pickup, and I put this on my grocery order because I had seen it in store, and I just couldn't get it out of my mind. It's this dough bowl, and it's a pretty good size, and it has the scalloped edges. I really have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but it was just one of those things that, like, I saw it, and I was like, oh, what could I do with that? And I didn't buy it, and then I just kept thinking about it. And so I went ahead and picked it up. We're gonna see what we can do with it. It was $14.97. I'll link this too down in the description box if you wanna grab one, because I feel like this is probably one of those things that's gonna get sold out pretty quick. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. I am so sorry that we're a been like delayed with the um, spring decorating. I think the lighting is good right now because I'm in front of the um, door. So lots of lights coming in on me, but it's raining outside. But if you look in here, you see how dark and gloomy this whole um, area is. So it's very hard to film when it's like that. It's just very hard to um, pick it up on camera. And then a lot of times when you turn the overhead lights on, you know, it just doesn't look that great. So, but anyway, next week we're gonna be decorating for spring. Even if we're decorating in the rain and in the dark, we're still gonna be decorating for spring. So get ready for that. I appreciate your patience on that. And thank you for those of you that voted and told me on my little poll that I put up. Um, just thank you for that. I appreciate it. I hope y'all have a good week. I will see you next week. I do upload a new video every Tuesday. So be sure and come back and I'll see you then. Bye.